What's going on, Leo? I hope you are doing very well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a reading for April 2022. So in this reading, Leo, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the upcoming month. We're going to take a look at some things you don't see coming for the upcoming month, and we're also going to close this message off with some advice and messages from your spirit guides and much more. So you are all definitely very welcome here, Leo, in this space with me as we go through this reading for April 2022. If you find this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. I would appreciate that greatly, Leo. But either way, let's go ahead and jump into your reading for April 2022. Give me a moment and we'll see what wants to come through. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for Leo. All right, Leo, let's lay out these cards and see what we got going on here. Okay. All right. Interesting. All right, Leo, so let's go ahead and Crank into this reading for you. Your opportunity for the month of April is the Two of Swords, and also your challenge for the month of April is going to be the Seven of Cups. So keep that in mind as we move through this reading. We're going to clarify those in a minute, but let's go ahead and start off in your overall general energy for the month of April. We have the Five of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, and also the Page of Wands here. Okay, I do like to see this energy because I think in the month of April, for a lot of you, it's going to start off maybe a little bit tumultuous. You may be, you may be going through a brief period of like depression or like sadness. Um, something could have happened immediately that like is almost unbelievable. But for a lot of you, this could be like just like kind of like this feeling of like, I don't know where like my life is going. I'm picking up on the Five of Cups, but it gets better and it leads to like this almost new love is on the horizon for you and your reality for sure leo but right the five of cups you know in especially in the beginning of um april here leo you might be feeling like uh like almost asking yourself like what have i learned from my life like where it's almost coming through as like uh admitting to yourself that there is sadness something because the opportunity with the with the two of um swords here maybe like admitting to yourself that your life isn't as good as you want it to be and and there because that will propel you into actually taking action on some opportunities because your challenge is the the seven of cups here so i almost think there's like a talking yourself out of some sort of opportunity here because you're saying no 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 so that i don't know let's let's go ahead and keep moving though six of pentacles page of wands in your overall general energy as well i think there's going to be a balancing force here that kind of takes you out of sadness into adventure as to what that event is you could be experiencing someone being nice to you that you're not usually expecting yourself to or some of your inner dialogue just switches off and you start to, to like embrace that adventurous spirit again so i do see in the month of april what i see happening is it starts off maybe a little bit sad it balances itself out though we're gonna have to clarify we move here to what you don't see coming and you have the two of wands the four of swords and also the four of wands here so i think there is going to be some sort of choice in love here for you um leo I, I don't sense that you have a shortage of offers in love for those of you that are dealing with that because the two of wands and what you don't see coming 
The number two has to do with partnerships and it's coming through here. You see there's one wand behind the person and one wand um, in, in the forefront. It kind of represents like a safer option that you kind of have to just remain where you are, not really take a risk. I think this month for you, could really be about taking a risk, putting your heart on the line. Some of you guys, what I sense is going on here is there's kind of a risky option that may force you to open your heart. Someone that you know is the type of person that could change your life, but they could also trigger you back into furthering those old patterns. So just be aware of that. Um, the Four of Swords here as well in what you don't see coming, it's almost like you're gonna really have to think about something. The Four of uh, Wands here as well, stability, number four, four, and what you don't see coming. There's Potentially, there's something that provides you a lot of stability in your life that you're not really used to, and it's almost coming through as you're, you're used to a more kind of like familiar, kind of like sad stability, okay? It's like, because a lot of us can fall in love with our negative emotions, we don't even realize it. Now, I'm not saying this is happening for all of you, Leo, but there's almost this, like an energy of um, refusing to look at this option that could really change your life just because you're like, it's just too inconvenient. Like I have to do all that page of wands stuff, but I'm telling you there's gonna be a shift. And the reason why I'm talking to you, how I'm talking to you, Leo, because most of you are watching this right now and it's like, what is it? Today's like March 27th or something. This is the energy you're in now. I'm telling you there's going to be a shift in your spirit. If that makes sense, there's going to be like a, uh, like a more of an adventurous op like flow that comes in for you. So with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the clarification portion of this reading to get a little bit more information, um, or I should say a lot more information for the April time experience or experience for you here at Leo. So let's go ahead and see, why is this two of swords here in your opportunity for the month of April? Let's go ahead and see what wants to come through here. Why is the two of swords here? Two of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, so this could be something here where the opportunity is to kind of like look at look at what's what's being offered to you here. Because once again, the Knight of Pentacles is an offer. It could be something that's been happening slowly. Okay, this could be someone that's been on your radar for a long time that you're like, oh shit, I finally have to make a choice about this person I'm sensing. Um, it's about like not letting your sadness block this offer because once again, the Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles here, Empress and the advice, Four of Wands and what you don't see coming. Leo, there is there's a, there's an offer here that a lot of you you, you just you make sure you don't miss this one, Leo, because a lot of times like you can meet your soulmate when you're like in the supermarket or like you can meet this person in anywhere, but if your energy is closed down, you just won't see it. So the five of cups here is to is to, the question to ask yourself is like, what have you learned from sad times? Like what, what do you have to let go of? Like uh, to be open to this energy coming in? Cause there is going to be some sort of offer. Just make sure you're not closed down Leo. Okay. Now it could be something that's too, it changes your life too much and it's kind of scary. Why is the five of cups here for Leo and what in the overall general energy for, uh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So the five of cups here or yeah, the five of cups is clarified by the star, the queen of cups, and also the justice card here. So this is healing any sort of sadness that you're having. This is, this is you letting go of one cycle in your life. And I really sense someone's here to help you out of it though, Leo. Whether you take that opportunity or not is up to you. For some reason it's coming through as love, it just is. For others of you, you can bend the rules and kind of make this about your career if that's the predominant um, energy you're experiencing here. But the star, queen of cups, justice, something comes here and, and once again, like I said, there's just an energy of a shift in April into more of expansion. This is almost like divine intervention almost, okay? Because the start to the justice are two major arcana cards that lead you in the middle, queen of cups for a lot of you, emotional harmony. So this is not gonna last. I really, like I'm really being called to say uh, here, Leo, if you feel like the first few days or even the first like up until like April 10th, 
If you're feeling sad, there's going to be an opportunity of healing here. It's going to come in some sort of opportunity, some sort of offer. If it's not love, it could be you meet your best friend who treats you like a queen just in that way, like a soul family member, something. Uh, so just be open, okay, Leo? Because I do sense it's going to be, it's, this month could change your life. Um, and it's meant to, okay? It's almost like the, a lot. Of, I like to see the divine intervention here for sure. Let's also see why the Page of Wands is here in um, your overall general energy. I think by the end of April, you're going to be... It's, it's, I, I do get excited about this, but let's see why it's here. Why is the Page of... Yeah, Six of Swords almost popped out. Why is the Page of Wands here? Page of Wands, why is it here? for Leo. Tower. Okay, Page of Wands to clarify by the tower. So yeah, this is letting go. I think a lot of you guys have been like in hermit mode or something. Really, like Leo, have you been in hermit mode for a lot of you? Um, the universe is blowing up your spot right now. And it, it, it's blowing up your spot with some sort of adventurous spirit that you start to channel or in the form of some sort of a very tangible opportunity because the knight of cups here i mean the knight of pentacles excuse me very tangible physical opportunity that you may not even be seeing because of your vibration but if you're not seeing the opportunity <laughs> spirit's going to make you see it here so make sure that you open your mind to adventure what does your soul want you to do um because <laughs> Yeah, rock like the universe is going to rock your world this month, Leo. Could be in the form of a person, some sort of opportunity, or just a shift in your energy depending on who it is you are. But what you don't see coming, four of swords here, it's not like you're going to be running around with your hair on fire this month, Leo. There's going to be a lot of contemplation. Like, because the Knight of Pentacles, like, it is a very expansive, adventurous energy, but it's like, ooh, it's like almost too real. It's like, it's. This, what's ever happening is like there's some sort of concrete new direction to move in. And because it's so real, you're like, oh shit, it's not just a fantasy anymore, okay? Because the universe blows something up for you. Now, let's also clarify why this uh, Seven of Cups is here in your challenge, okay? Making a choice. Do I stay in this energy or do I go? I think you should go because, you know, take almost like a riskier option. You know, the Seven of Seven of Cups being your challenge, you know, that talks all about options, decisions, choices. Um, like I said, you know, um, what alerts you when it's time to go? You know, because I think it's time to go. Something's... So I'm going to... I don't want to keep ranting. Let's see why these Seven of Cups is here for Leo. Why is this your challenge? What, what's so challenging about it? Yeah. Six of Swords. That almost wanted to pop out for the Page of Wands here. Six of Swords once again. Okay, the Six of, six of Swords is a difficult energy because it, it oftentimes represents moving from choppy water, to, from calmer waters, for, excuse me, from choppy to calm waters. But I think there's a risk here involved with this choice of being snapped out of this introversion or this refusal to take on opportunity. It may like you... It's almost like you guys have been locked up for like years and you're finally like, oh shit. It's like almost like, you know, you don't go outside a lot. And like when you finally go outside, it's like, oh, it's so bright out here. <laughs> like That's like the energy. So just like, like kind of like have fun with it. But I think there is like, there, there may be a physical move. Like you may have to, you may have to physically move in order to make this shift happen. So just be aware that I understand there could be like some like challenging things you have to let go of to do this whether that should be your sense of comfortability or whatever remaining where you were at um let's also see why the four of swords is the centerpiece to your reading two cards falling out too early though why is the four of swords here as the centerpiece to your reading leo for april Okay, Four of Swords is clarified by the Chariot. So yeah, once again, Seven of Cups to the Six of Swords, Four of Swords to the Chariot. It's like, you're going to have to, like, you're going to be given an opportunity to just go, okay? Um, but at first, you're going to have to really say, like, holy shit, this is really happening. I'm telling you, this is something real. It may not be something that you're aware of now, but towards the middle of the month, um, you're divinely protected in this as well. The Chariot here is all about knowing when to push forward, when to move back. It talks about... Um, communication technology also being able to know how to move so there there could be some sort of like dance that you're playing with someone who's coming in or some sort of 
dance to get out of this introversion. Like really the universe is saying, get extroverted, okay? Get, because your soul family is waiting for you. If I just summarize it, for a lot of you, it's gonna have to do with love, Leo, but it's just like get extroverted, but don't be afraid to go into this in the first week of April. I think there's gonna be a lot of introversion, but that's gonna change, okay? But when it changes, you're gonna also still be flipped out is what they're saying. They're gonna be like, no, it's too difficult. But you know what's difficult is staying in where you are. It's, it's you know, nothing is difficult. It's all just how you look at it, Leo. So I, that's just kind of what I'm sensing here. Um, let's go ahead and move on to why is the Empress here and the advice from spirit, okay? Let's go ahead and see why the Empress is here. Any more information? Okay, Queen of Pentacles coming out, yeah. There's some sort of thing that could change your life physically. Once again, I think a lot of you though, as hard as this is to say, subconsciously maybe going into self-sabotage and just saying, no, I can't. Like, this even happens with me, Leo. Like, no no joke. Like, when, when your life, you're being given an opportunity to upgrade, like, all these things of self-worth, like, what do you feel like you deserve comes up. So make sure that you 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 let this land. It's like the art of not blowing it. Like don't blow this Leo. Cause there's, there's a very big, like physical upgrade, um, available to you here. And you, and it's just going to be very clear to you, but it's like so clear that it's like glaringly like, holy shit. Okay. Two of cups here. Let's also clarify this two of cups. Why is it two of cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? Whenever the Two of Cups is right, the universe is destroying something for you to be with your soul family, maybe even romantic here is what I see. Um, chariot, Ace of Swords, like, yeah, the universe is taking you out of your comfort zone this month, Leo, for sure. <sighs> yeah, uh, Two of Cups clarified by the Six of uh, Pentacles again. Probably someone coming through whether whatever this energy the shift whether it's your adventurous spirit that leads you to this person being in the right place at the right time but for a lot of you this is someone coming in with such a like i mean this is an offer that will change your life physically but a lot of you once again once again you may be scared of this because what like look at this knight of pentacles to the two of swords queen of pentacles empress two of cups six of pentacles six of pentacles chariot like guys be open to the fact that the way that your mind thinks certain things may happen may not be how they happen. Have an open mind because the universe is going to give you a big opportunity this month. So with that being said, Leo, if you want more information on your situation personalized to you, feel free to book a personal reading with me. You can find all the information on that in the description box underneath this video, but I appreciate all of you. I hope this provided you clarity and insight for April. Best of luck to you, and I hope you enjoy your month, Leo. Peace.